Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. And I'll be doing the free video for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. So another week is in the books. And you may be surprised by this. Hold on to your hat. But it was another up week in the markets. One blessed by Sir Powell, who seems very comfortable in... Um, the current state of things, which is going to make the market comfortable in the, in the current state of things. I just finished making the premium video for the folks in the gold room, and every video for the last seven years that I've had with them, um, usually I make them on Fridays for the last seven years, what I've done is I've looked at the SPY, the QQQ, we get an understanding of the indexes that way, and then I go to the dollar and bonds and volatility. Um, and we basically kind of just look around the different corners of the market for potential problems, right? Looking at bonds, dollar, and vol allows us to kind of look under the uh, under the carpet, so to speak, and uh, see if we, we can find any problems. I told them this week, I don't think we're going to do that, at least for some time. And instead, what we did is we just looked at uh, the SPY and the QQQ, and then we ran some scans for individual stocks. The reason being is, as of last Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday, last week, most of last week, I was out of the office, and that gave me an opportunity to either just watch the market or just trade without having to, um, you know, answer any questions or anything like that. And I was out of the office on Wednesday, which was CPI day. Uh, now CPI came in hot, meaning that inflation had actually turned higher, and. If you just had that bit of information, what would you believe happens that day? Well, the dominoes start to fall, right? So inflation hot means bonds down, means interest rates up, which means typically the most interest rate sensitive parts of the market, which would be technology stocks, would normally get hit. But what ended up happening on Wednesday of last week? Well, CPI came in hot, and interest rates went higher, and the most interest rate sensitive parts of the market, which are technology stocks, went up the most. NVIDIA on that day was up 7%. And when I got back to the office on Monday, when I was speaking to the folks in the gold room, I told them, on Wednesday, I saw something that was so miraculous, for lack of a better term, that it actually made me change my religion. And I'd like to share that with you. So. I actually am now, um, well, I don't think this has ever been tried before. I, I, on Wednesday, I went outside and I built myself a golden calf and I started praying to it. And that's my new religion. And I don't think this has ever been tried in the history of the world. And surely the outcomes will be positive. And somebody showed me this and I was like, yep, that's, that's about right. <laughs> so that's me now. So. I say this obviously tongue in cheek, but not completely, right? I used to bring you guys some level of words of caution here in the YouTube videos, but after what I saw on Wednesday, I am fully, fully convinced that the bulls have transcended all mortal boundaries and have transcended into something higher. So I say that, of course, slightly tongue in cheek, but not completely. So with that said, with my newfound religion of the golden, the order of the golden calf. Let's take a look at the cues. So the cues here, obviously massive uptrend, very very solid. What I'm looking for always when I when I pull up a chart is whether it has a max bull. Well, I'm just looking for a score, right? It, it, I'm not looking for a max bull or max bear. It's just it just so happens that it has a max bull, which is a perfect score. Then I'm looking for squeezes. So last time that you had a max bull plus squeeze, big push. You haven't had a squeeze since, but you are in max bull conditions and you now have a fresh squeeze here. Um, there is a pretty long-term resistance level at 450.72 that you should just at least nominally be aware of. Um, but by and large, just keep it simple. If you have a max bull plus squeeze, that equals buy. So I could probably just end the video there, 
And just that alone tells you basically what to look for, which is going to be technology stocks that have an equal or better setup than what you see here on the QQQ. But there was a couple of things that came up on the scan that might be of interest. So one number one is going to be something like Amazon, right? Now, Amazon here, you can see, has the exact same situation. Max bull 40, squeeze, nice upward bias to the squeeze. One that we bought in the room uh, today, looking for a thousand next week. Now, this is truly a sign of the times that I'm looking for a thousand on Nvidia in a week, considering that would be about a 7% move. This is a two trillion dollar company. Next week is a short week. And for me to be looking for a 7% move on a short week on a, on a two trillion dollar company, which would add about $140 billion worth of market cap. <laughs> this is, this is, these are insane words that I'm telling you. This shouldn't work. <laughs> But because of because of the market that we're in, it's actually not unreasonable. So I'll just show you the target here. There's a target cluster at right around 10:10 to about 10:15. So we put on some butterflies there for uh, next Friday or next week. Uh, we looked at Amazon. Uh, another one would be something like Netflix. Doesn't quite have the squeeze dynamics, but it has a max bull score, and I think it does have some intraday squeezes. One, another one that came up was Crowd. So I probably should have bought this one earlier when it was right at that 21. But um, again, not, not as not as optimal here, right? You can see that the score is only 16 here on Crowd, but what it lacks in terms of the max bull, it makes up for in the fact that it's very proximal to support, which is the 21. Um, something like DKNG as well pretty strong chart does need a pullback it did already try for the breakout um, I think this is going to fifty dollars uh, try to catch it on a, on a better pullback than this and um, I'm trying to think of other things that have squeezes I'm trying to stick with tech with it but uh, I'll show you this one this is one that I'm trying to buy. It's ELV. I haven't got filled on it because I'm waiting for a deeper pullback than this, but again, max pull plus squeeze equals buy. But let's kind of just you know, go back here for a second because I think I can I can sit here for the next 10 minutes and just read off different things that look good, but it would probably actually take me longer than 10 minutes to read off all the things that look good. So let's just go back to what really matters here. The, here's your signal, right? So my my challenge to you my challenge to you is to try to find something that looks as good or better than the QQQ based on your own indicators whether you happen to use mine or you have your own completely doesn't matter this is your template to beat so if you can find something that looks better than the Q's that also has a daily squeeze and has a max bull based on my system or your system um, that's a buy so one of the easier ones that came up was Amazon. So I'll go ahead and wrap it there, guys, because I think this gets you enough coverage of what you're looking for. If this daily squeeze on the QQQ does break long to the upside, uh, then it's going to take the entire market with it. And the plays that we've already made, are gonna, or at least the plays that I, I made in the room today, is NVIDIA. And then one of the <clears throat> better plays that I see setting up is something like Amazon. So I'll look at that one coming in on Monday and probably just look to play it into the end of the week. All right, guys, hopefully the video was helpful to you. Say a few prayers to the uh, the order of the golden calf here. If you want to join my religion, just post down there in the chat, and I'll send you a pamphlet, and uh, <laughs> we can all enjoy the rest of the year together, praying to the golden calf, which surely never has gone wrong. All right, guys, that's my time. Have a great Friday, great rest of the week. Catch you next week. Cheers. Hey, traders. This is Sam with Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you found the information in it helpful. If you did, leave us a like, leave us a comment. It really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you want to see us trade live with our own real money and be part of the community, come and check us out at simplertrading.com.